What's going on guys, I is Fuego here with another Tactical Tuesday. This time it's not on Modern Warfare 3 gameplay, um, or any other gameplay for that matter. Um, this one is going to be about future creator class system, um, classes that you can actually make, um, in this video I'm just gonna give you some, uh, a few designs that I made myself, um, a lot, a lot of the decisions I made for these classes are due to one of my friends who has actually gone to um to to Europe to um, play Black Ops 2, and I'm extremely thankful um, for the insight he's given me on a lot of the weapons because it it really makes a difference. You know, sometimes you see in these little trailers that they use um, certain guns, and it's completely different. Um, for example, the submachine guns, they are almost all balanced. There's no particular um submachine gun that's better than the other one some say that the mp7 will be um overpowered again and stuff like that it's very much unbelievably um different from mw3 um msmc um can compete to it the uh, the other guns can compete to it like the scorpion evo 3 um and, and it's really you know it's it's all thanks to him that you know I can give you my insight um, because he gave me his. So, um, anyways, um, getting off track. Let's get started. All right, guys, we're back. And um, so, the first class that I wanted to show you guys is um, is primarily just run and gun. Um, this is just straight up shotgun cheese. You know, just, it, it, it's pretty much for people who only are going to move. And at this point, I. Uh, I think this is the class that I'm most likely going to run with. I'm a pretty heavy shotgun guy. Uh, but anyways, let's get into it. R870 M MCS shotgun. Um, it's semi-auto, I, I believe. No, correction. It's a pump action. And um, and so f right here I have uh, primary gunfighter as one of my uh, um, greeds. Or I'm sorry, wild cards. And, and it's really important that... Um, that you really buff the R870 MCS because even though it's already a pretty powerful shotgun, it kind of lacks within um within sights. Um, and what I mean by that is that if you try to look down your sights and shoot, it doesn't exactly look look. You know how with the Spas 12, you could just look into the circle reticle and um and you pretty much see you know your target straight on. You know you get the one shot. Um, R870 that's not the case so the one of the first attachments that I did put on is um laser sight and that'll pretty much improve your uh, your uh, hip fire accuracy it's sort of the steady aim of um uh, uh, of black ops 2 so um I'm sorry the second the second um attachment that we have is the fast mag and fast mag is pretty much sleight of hand again another perk transformed into an attachment um Normally, you don't have to have fast mag, but me ha um, being used to very, very fast reloads, you know, I kind of need that extra, you know, fast reload so I can just quickly um, pump and go, pump and go, pump and go. And, um, and and that's just me. You know, you can adapt to um, to very slow reloads or something like that, but that's just not me. You can have a different attachment if you want. You can even have a freaking... Um, reflex sight i think on it but that but that's it you can't have no acog scope or nothing like that um <laughs> that would just be cheese so um okay so the third um the third attachment which uh fits into the primary gunfighter is long barrel and what long barrel does is it also improves your accuracy as well as it improves the range so you can really just like double the range on a on a very typical shotgun and as long as you hit you know you're fine because because long barrel will still have the same damage and stuff like that um it it can even make your uh, accuracy better the only thing is you can't spray and pray with it um that effectively unless if you've got very beast uh vision um and, you know and that's pretty much it you, you know for this class you know in the perks you have lightweight extreme conditioning and dexterity um lightweight uh, again to uh make you move faster extreme conditioning to make you move longer and dexterity so that you can uh raise your raise your gun faster after sprinting it's kind of like steady aim pros effect um a shock charge pretty typical um you can have you can pretty much have whatever score streaks you want 
Um, I didn't exactly put any in in this one, but I will in the other ones. So um, let's get to the next weapon. All right, guys, this is the Type 25. Um, this is pretty much the average um, gamer's um, class setup. This is gonna be your your all around, you know, your your um, camping, your your. No. I'm sorry. Your your running gun. This is this is pretty much the average, uh, as average as it gets. The Type 25 is gonna be pretty much, um, the the most simple gun. It's gonna be like the M4A1 of uh of all the other cods, pretty much. Um, Type 25 is is again just like the M4A1, known for its very fast speed. Um, that's why um for this I put just reflex sight and fast mag on it. Um, you know reflex sight it of obviously the most basic sight um and it'll be just like just like m4a1 with red that you know again it's very simple uh, it's a very simple class type 25 reflex sight fast mag J again you could just put in whatever you want i like fast mag because i like very fast reloads um this is you know just so that you could survive for for a bit of a long time um i put lightweight you know so that you can run faster toughness so that because Although it's a very high speed, it's got a lot of recoil, as um, my friend has said. Um, by the way, his na his name is Carlos. Um, so yeah, t toughness is going to help you um, flinch less, just in case you do get hit, so you can stay on target. Um, I don't know if the long barrel is actually um, applicable to the Type 25, although I assume not, because it's only for shotguns. Um, so anyway, tactical mask um, for those flash and stuns, just in case you get hit with those. Um, that's pretty simple. A cap 40, pretty simple also, but dual wields, you can you can do that. Um, they didn't put the uh, the fully autom uh, the select fire attachment um, in the attachment section, and I was wondering right why. why. <laughs> um, but you know, I know it's there. I know there's gonna be automatic automatic pistols um such as the cat 40 so uh that would be my second attachment some text shock charge um pretty pretty simple no wild cards used um hellstorm missile uh death machine and agr this is you know pretty average um kill streaks this is just you know if you want to get a few kill streaks in you know if you want to survive for a very long time you're going to need that death machine in order to get to the agr although the death machine will only give you a a quarter of the points that you deserve um, because it's a kill streak, just like all the other kill streaks. So, um, all right, let's get to the next weapon. All right, our third and final weapon for you campers who like to really piss off the guys who are really good but not so good. Um, we have the LSAT with a uh, with pretty powerful um, attachments. We have the Target Finder, a, a new site that allows you to pinpoint targets with diamonds um, and foregrip. Um, uh, the LSAT, especially out of all, uh, out of the four uh, light machine guns, has pretty much the most lowest recoil um, out of the four, which is great because um, four grip will reduce that to like minimum minimum uh, recoil, and that and that's really good. You want to be on target, you know, when you place that assault shield, which by the way is in our um, in our in our class setup um you want to be able to to reduce the as much recoil as possible and so what we have is a very low recoil um light machine gun along with foregrip and toughness plus the assault shield i think that and this is pretty much for domination and and uh, def defense games um this is going to really help you pinpoint the targets that you need to that you need to kill without being um attacked or without being um um hit without without really um affecting your your um performance inside the game so toughness reduces the flinch foregrip reduces the recoil and we have the target find that that allows you to um find targets from a very far distance um the low recoil will, will um, compensate for for your lack of accuracy we also have lightweight because it is a light machine gun um and it's ironic because it's lightweight um the the um the performance of the LSAT will will greatly improve with lightweight you know you'll just move around faster you can strafe um if you really want to um strafe faster you can use um adjustable stock in place of foregrip if you want and that's pretty much the stalker of um Black Ops 2 um is the target 
uh, I'm sorry, the uh, adjustable stock. Um, over here, I have tactician um, for for shock charges. Those are so that if you want to defend the flag and you see losing Charlie or something like that, um, you throw a shock charge, you throw one again, and you kill. Bada bing, bada boom. Um, UAV, I use, I would use for um for for domination and stuff like that. These um UAVs are really gonna help you Im improve your score. Um, until you get to the to the next kill streak, Guardian, uh, which is 500. Now the thing with UAVs and Black Ops 2 is that now you can get points for them. You can get your score streak up if your enemy if your if an enemy is killed by one of your friends or or another person on your team. You can really just you can really just sit back and wait until you get the Guardian. Place that on a flag. Then the next and last kill streak is the lightning strike. Of course, it's like the precision airstrike for um, Black Ops 2, and um, you know it, it's pretty much base guarding. This is what this class is. So um, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys again for watching Tactical Tuesday. Um, there will be more episodes every single Tuesday. Um, the only reason I wasn't doing it um last last Tuesday was because I was taking care of my great grandmother. Um. But I will, I will be doing this a lot more frequently, as you know, once a week. Um, and hopefully, when you get Black Ops 2, you will be ready for to, to slay some noobs. And, you know, I just want to give the best to this channel and to this clan especially, because this is the clan's channel. Um, so, thanks again. Fuego out.